As promised, today we start a new series of videos. We talk about nutrition, we talk about food, we talk about vegetables, we start with peppers. Welcome back everybody, my name is Pasquale and I'm your nutrition and lifestyle coach. Today, as promised in the last video, we're gonna start a new series of video. In this video, we're gonna analyze food, and in particular, this time, we're gonna analyze peppers. Peppers are the fruit of the Capsicum annum, a group of botanical varieties belonging on the Solinaceae family. We consume the fruit of these plants. This is green at the beginning, and then, after maturation, becomes yellow, red or orange, or it remains green, according to the variety. The active ingredient that gives the spiciness is the capsaicin that is found in the chilies. The larger quantity is in the seeds, but is also present in the fruit. The scale of spiciness is measured according to the scale of Scoville. The most spicy pepper known is called Pepper X, while my old friend, the Calabrian peppers, well, those are between 50,000 and 30,000. The peppers are characterized by a modest energy intake, mainly from carbohydrates present in the form of fructose. Fats and proteins are particularly absent, being present in marginal quantities. Peppers are food that, if consumed raw, contain the largest amount of ascorbic acid that is commonly known as vitamin C. The vitamin C can also be counted five times as much and the same amount of oranges, which is usually known to be source of vitamin C. They are also very important source of water and dietary fiber. Moreover, not to be overlooked is the source of numerous minerals, especially potassium, but also source of carotenoids like beta-carotenes and also vitamin A. Peppers are usually labeled as hard to digest foods. What is indigestible is the almost transparent fibrous part that covers them. Eliminating that part, they will be equally digestible as the other vegetables. Generally speaking, the green peppers are less sweet and more difficult to digest, even if you eliminate the skin. The red and the yellow peppers instead are slightly sweeter and digestible. In various proportional quantity are also present sources of vitamins of the group B, and in particular of folic acid and vitamin B6. To preserve the vitamin C contained in the peppers, it would be ideal to consume them raw. However, in order to improve the digestibility, it could be nice to have a light cooking methods like steamed or stir fried and for a short period of time. Being rich in water, they also have a diuretic property. They are not very caloric, but being rich of fibers, they also have a great satiating power. Moreover, the fibers nourish the natural bacteria flora in our digestive system. Being rich in big group vitamins, they have an energizing effect on our organism and also the presence of the ascorbic acid and the beta-carotene indicates a particular antioxidant susceptibility to free radicals. There are also discrete amounts of minerals like potassium, iron, calcium and magnesium. Now we see the different nutritional values between green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper and orange peppers and also the chili peppers. Starts from the green pepper. As you can see, the calories intake is only 16.3 kilocalories, which is quite low. Potassium is 6% of the recommended intake, while vitamin 6 is 21%, folic acid is 18%, and vitamin C is 150% of your ratio intake. So, as you can see, 100 grams of peppers already give you more than the minimum amount of vitamin C that is needed for a day. You can also notice beta carotene, 260 micrograms, and vitamin A under a form of retinol, which is 6%. Now, let's go to the yellow pepper. As you can see, it's slightly more caloric. Vitamin C is still the same, while there's a bit of increase on vitamin B6, 11%, and folic acid is around the same amount. Vitamin A is a bit lower, and folic acid remains the same. As you can see, biotin, the vitamin B7, rises to 8%. The red pepper, the vitamin C is still around the same amount, 158% of the recommended intake. Biotin remains around the same, folic acid jump to 38%, while vitamin A remain around the 12%. Potassium is around 11%, 260 mg. Finally, let's analyze the orange pepper, which is the one that I usually have trouble to find in the shops. As you can see, 30.3 kilocalories, 
is the most caloric one among all the four colors. But here is the surprise. Vitamin C raises up to 169% of the recommended intake. Folic acid is still around the same, but vitamin B6 jumps up to 25%. The big difference, as you can see, is vitamin A, which jumps around 42%, and its precursor, beta-carotene, 2013 micrograms. So, generally speaking, we can say that orange pepper is the most dense in terms of nutritional value. Now, just out of curiosity, let's check also the chili pepper. For the chili pepper, as you can see, there's no particular nutritional value except for vitamin C. With 100 gram of chili pepper, you can reach up to 281% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin C. That's amazing. Another thing to be taken into consideration is the potassium, which is 440 milligrams. 22% of the recommended intake. So the only thing I can say, if you like spiciness, well add your spicy pepper to your dishes because you're gonna gain something. Now I want to give some ideas on how to eat the peppers. I'm gonna give you some healthy ideas and one which is not quite healthy but because I'm a nutritionist, if you can keep your secret for yourself and don't tell anybody that I give you this recipe, I would really appreciate it. The first thing you can do is the Italian pinzimonio. If you've never heard of it, it's basically raw vegetables which you can dip into a vinaigrette. Usually the vinaigrette is made with balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil. And that's it, nothing else. You can use also different vegetables to increase the bouquet on flowering and smells. I can assure you it's really delicious. A second method I want to suggest you is to put it in the oven and cook it. Once cooked it, you can peel the pepper and you can add to your cold sauces. For example, I use it for my hummus. You can find the recipe of my red pepper hummus around here in the pages and in the description box below. A third idea that I really love is to get them stuffed. You can make them both a vegetarian or with meat. You can stuff with everything you want. You will have also in this case a huge bouquet of flavors and scents. The last idea I want to give you is to use them in a typical Calabrian side dish that is called simply peppers and potatoes. We don't have much fantasy over there, you know. Potatoes and pepper are fried and served hot. Some versions are asked to add a chili pepper or tomato puree. You can also add some leaves of basil. As an idea, you can also visit the blog of my dear friend Teresa Balzano. The blog is called Pepperoni e Patate, which translates to peppers and potato, which is this recipe. And I can assure you, her version is gonna be extraordinary. Now some contraindication. The peppers are contraindicated in the case of gastric ulcer, gastroduodenal, and gastroenterocolitis or hemorrhoids because they would increase the burning sensation. It's not advisable to give in to children under 10 years because the liver at that age is not able to assimilate the substances contained in the pepper properly. But this is just a general suggestion because being a Calabrian like me, I used to eat pepper probably since I was two months old and I'm still alive. Also, capsaicin, even if contained in small amounts, could irritate the mucous membranes. The peppers are also contraindicated for intolerant or allergy subject and, in case of liver diseases, because it could overload the liver's work. Before to go, I want to remind you to subscribe the channel and to click the bell to get new updates. If you like the video, please thumbs up. I also remind you of a Facebook and an Instagram page. Please leave a comment in the box below and let me know if you like this new format for the videos, because your feedback are very useful for me to improve the quality of my videos. Please share this video on the social network and help me to spread the message. Well, it's everything for now. I'm only left to say eat well, live well and smile. See you next time. Ciao.